I got seven different fragrances from Zoologist Perfumes from Canada. Hope you guys are ready. Stick around. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon and this is DaVinci's Alchemist. If you are a return subscriber, good to see you guys again. If this is your first time here, every week I do a weekly fragrance playlist. I match up the fragrances that I put on during the week to music that I hear or feel whenever I put those fragrances on. So I'll give you a quick introspective on that. Um, I pretty much have like super acute synesthesia. Um, it doesn't happen for me all the time. Mostly it's in the mornings. Uh, I've noticed whenever I first put a fragrance on, not as much in the evenings. Uh, I put it on and I, uh, just music will kind of flood my brain. Sometimes I will get uh, flashes of visions that I see, especially if I close my eyes, I can see kind of pictures that those uh, fragrances create for me. So it's weird, I know, I'm freaky. A real quick reminder, I will have this week's playlist once again on Spotify down below. So this whole week is all about Zoologist. Uh, Zoologist Perfumes is out of Canada and these guys put out some really amazing fragrances. For me, these are like works of art. In my opinion, these are so artistic and beautiful and wonderful. However, I'm a weird dude, so you may not necessarily like them. I think if you like one of these or you hear about it and you think it's interesting, go to their website and definitely go get some samples, try them, fall in love with them, buy bottles. These guys are great. Without further ado, Wednesday. That morning I woke up and I reached for <laughs> Beaver. Beaver, mmm, yes, yes. This does not really have, to me, any animalistic sort of smells. To me, it's very waxy, green, uh, kind of floral, light white flower, floral type of a floral. Um, thing about this one is that it sits pretty close to the skin on me and it didn't have a lot of longevity, honestly. It was only on me for a few hours, unfortunately. Great composition and I really liked it, um, but it does not have a lot of longevity for me. Now, when I put this on, uh, it calmed me right down. It just chilled me the hell out. And there's an old Blind Melon song that flooded into my brain and that is I Wonder. It really kind of put me in this introspective, kind of chill sort of mood and it helped me to have a much better Wednesday than I did the Tuesday that I had, which was kind of shitty. So there we go, Beaver on Wednesday. So on Thursday, I reached for something a little darker, something a little more resinous and that was Camel. Now with Camel, I got a lot of dried fruit, uh, a lot of incense, um, resins, like super strong cedar for me, kind of that Virginia cedar. It's kind of almost pencil shavings E. And this kind of screams strength and foundation to me, this fragrance. And closing my eyes when I put this on, um, the song Still Standing by Elton John. It wasn't really so much the beginning, it was just the, the, the chorus. Like it, it meant a lot for me for my Thursday because um, I had kind of a rough week. So that was a really great kind of bonus help in hand that I needed on Thursday from camp. So moving on to Friday, um, I went ahead and went for something a little bit more mellow, and I know that this is typically, um, it's a little bit more of a, I don't wanna put a gender on it, but feminine leaning type of fragrance. This is Nightingale. So with Nightingale, I got a lot of like lemon, um, some rose, plum was pretty prevalent, and it kinda had this almost leathery sort of spike. I know that Leather is not actually in the note breakdown for this fragrance, so I think it might have been um, the frankincense, maybe combining with the saffron, but it, it created this kind of spike, this sharpness, this almost, uh, but it was really subtle. It was, uh, but it was, it was punching through all that beautiful, um, light, plummy sort of, uh, you know, aura that was going on with it, with this kind of like 
punch. And it was, I guess maybe it was a little indicative of the fact that on the cover of uh, Nightingale, she's dressed up kind of in a kimono. Um, but there's this song by August Burns Red, and it's called Invisible Enemy, and it has this really great kind of sitari uh, opening. And that's what I was hearing in my head when I put it on because it was just that that sort of almost Japanese style music, I think. Um, and then it just punches into metal. It's a fucking metal song, man. It's got punch. So really good if you've never heard that band before. August Burns Red, they kick ass. So Friday was Nightingale. So on Saturday, uh, again, I, I'm still having kind of a rough week and I was kind of feeling worn down and um, I thought, hey, we'll try Elephant. You know, Elephant has some, uh, some stand-up, some kind of backbone, some strength and foundation. Turns out, this really actually kind of mellowed me out. It has a lot of this leafy, coconut sort of vibe going on. To me, it's very cooling and calming. Um, there's this powdery sort of feel, like a minty, powdery sort of backbone that's going on in it. And it all comes together and it actually very much calmed me down. The song by Massive Attack, Angel, f kind of flooded over me and it's got that really chill vibe to it. It's a beautiful song and this is uh, beautiful. And this one I definitely want to have in my collection as well. So on Sunday, um, continuing my, my kind of recovering from the work week into my weekend sort of vibe, um, I went for Chameleon. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the sleeve for it anymore, so you can see it's pretty cool artistry on the front, actually. But Chameleon, for me, has kind of like these soft, um, creamy, tropical type florals. There is definitely some like vanilla. Um, don't know that if whether or not coconut's actually in the note breakdown, but that's kind of something that I get out of it. Um, it's very soothing for me. Uh, it does a lot of the same thing to me mentally that Iris or Oris does for me, which is it kind of centers me and it brings me, like it mellows me the hell out. There is definitely this kind of a, a cedar um, note that comes out a little bit. And that, um, I included two songs for this fragrance. So those songs are Parable and Parabola by Tool. Now, the, there's an exact point in that song that I heard when I put this on, and that is the point in the song where the one song becomes the next song on the album. Um, when the line uh, is sung by Maynard, we are eternal, all this pain is an illusion, and then it kicks up into the heavier part of Parabola, and that's what I heard and felt, and it really literally put a lot of shudders through my body, and it was, it was some shit I needed to hear. Uh, at that particular moment in time, so it was nice to have that for me on Sunday. So Monday, work week starts. It's gonna be a little cooler weather. So I reached for something. I wasn't sure how it was going to translate, but what I went for is civet. Now typically civet notes are animalic, kind of fecal a uh, little bit. From my understanding, I've never actually smelt civet itself by itself. But in this, I was getting a lot of, uh, I was getting like these hay notes. It was, it was a little bit animalic. It was kind of like, like, um, like a horse barn in a way, but there was definitely some citruses going on, but it was like this candied orange rind. And now I've done something like that before for a cocktail, made candied orange rinds as a garnish. And man, it's awesome. And this actually kind of had this kind of cocktail appeal to it uh, along with some leather that spiked out a little bit and kind of rounded it all out and brought it all together just a really really good fragrance i am in love with this one definitely a bottle of this for sure upon spraying and kind of reflecting on the the cocktail idea like that was kind of what i saw in my head at first was a cocktail um, but then it morphed into an actual visual image of billy idol breaking into White Wedding. So that's what uh, I had going on when I put this on was White Wedding by Billy Idol. So that was Civet on Monday. And that leads me to Tuesday, end of the week, I reached for Macaque. No, literally, it's a monkey, get your head out of the gutter. 
This fragrance freaks me out because I want to bathe in it. It smells so amazing to me. I get cedar, I get florals, kind of white florals. I get tea and I get honey and apple and the cedar kind of fluctuates through this for me. It kind of has this ebb and flow sort of thing. This whole fragrance kind of does this otherworldly float sort of shit. And that just popped into my head. Space Oddity by David Bowie, the This Is Major Tom to Ground Control song. If you haven't heard it, I don't know what you've been doing for the last 20 years, but check that song out and check this out. Definitely get a sample. I really highly suggest that you check this sample out as part of the samples that you're gonna check out, if you do, if you get a chance. So yeah, Tuesday, macaque. <laughs> so that's it guys, that was my fragrance roundup for the week. Uh, this is week seven of Scents and Stanzas, volume seven. It's an all zoologist week, baby. So hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a chance to check out Zoologist. Uh, once again, if you're new to this channel and you liked what you saw, please do me a favor, hit that like button uh, and then hit that little subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Mash that some bitch because uh, that way you can get notifications about when I do more of these videos, which I try to do on the regular. Please feel free to leave any comments that you want to down below as well. I wanna hear you guys' feedback. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you very much. So have a wonderful rest of your week and whatever it is you're doing, don't forget, keep calm, stink pretty. See you next time.